Turning now to that tragic mass shooting in the predominantly Asian community of Monterey Park. This afternoon, we learned an 11th victim has died. The shooting happened Saturday night during Lunar New Year celebrations inside the Star Dance Studio. At least 20 people were struck by gunfire. Police say minutes after the shooting, the gunman, identified as 72-year-old Hugh Can Tran, showed up at a second dance hall where an innocent bystander managed to wrestle his gun away. Police eventually closing in on Tran, who was inside a van in Torrance hours later. That's where they found him slumped over the steering wheel, dead from a self-inflicted gunshot. 17's Capitol correspondent Aton Wallace has more now on how state lawmakers are reacting to the violence. Well, legislators I spoke to here at the Capitol tell me they are just devastated. And while the grieving process has just begun, they hope to soon turn heartache into action. Inside the California Assembly Chamber, a moment of silence to start the session. And outside, flags lowered to half-staff, all in memory of the victims of the Monterey Park mass shooting. At what point do we say enough is enough? On the steps of the Capitol, the Asian American Pacific Islander, or AAPI Legislative Caucus, organized this vigil to pay tribute to those impacted. AAPI Caucus Chair Evan Lowe spoke with us via Zoom. Complete heartache. That's how Lowe described his immediate reaction upon hearing about the shooting during what was supposed to be a joyous celebration of the Lunar New Year, the year of the rabbit, symbolizing a theme of hope. During a time in which we normally would celebrate, enjoy each other's company, bringing in the prosperous new year. Unfortunately, this has gone the wrong direction and is, unfortunately, we've seen the loss of lives. Um, but let's make sure that we have time then to allow for grieving, to allow for creating a safe space within the Asian Pacific Islander community. And then thirdly, to look for actionable items in holding our government, our community, and our elected representatives accountable in making our community safe. Making our community safe, he argues, must first start with gun control. And while the state already has some of the strictest gun laws in the nation, Lowe says there's more that can be done. We must stop senseless firearm destruction in our community. We must get firearms out of society and an American society. GOP leaders taking a different approach. Senate Minority Leader Brian Jones and Senate Republican Caucus Chair Janet Nguyen writing in a statement they are committed to bolstering mental health services and working with their colleagues across the aisle on solutions to prevent future tragedies. Assembly member, what is your message to your constituents who were impacted by this? Thank you so much, Aitan, for that question. My message to the constituents is we're trying to do everything possible to keep our community safe. Assemblymember Mike Fong represents Monterey Park, a community where 65% of the population identifies as AAPI and a community, he says, that has his full attention. We are heartbroken. We are grieving. We are mourning. But Monterey Park is a very strong city as well, and the community is resilient, and we'll get through this very challenging times together. And Fong says services from the County of Los Angeles, the American Red Cross, and several nonprofit organizations are now in Monterey Park to help the community recover. He points out his office stands ready to help constituents. Reporting from the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News. In the wake of this deadly mass shooting, a verified GoFundMe account has been set up to support the victims' families. So far, they have received over $175,000 in donations. You'll find the link to the fundraiser on our website, kget.com.